Hey guys, this is Nogero from AppHeroics.com. This is a tutorial on how to level up a brand new Game of War account to around level uh, 60 power in about an hour's playing time. This is a very quick start strategy. Uh, it does involve you having s some familiarity with how to move around and navigate, so if you're brand new to the game and don't understand the interface at all, uh, you can check out um, the other video I have on the overview uh, of the interface, but this assumes that, that you know your way around the screen a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, tap start a new game uh, down in the lower left hand corner, then tap uh, proceed with starting a new game. We'll go ahead and start a new one. Now unfortunately, uh, the way this is, the game is set up is you always have to follow the Athena tutorial when you first, you keep, there's no way to skip that. So just tap on everything with the green arrow. Uh, if you want to read those things you can, but I'm going to just continue to tap on everything that Athena tells me to tap on so that I can get through the tutorial as quickly as possible. And you can see we're upgrading our stronghold to level 2 already. I just keep tapping on everything. I wish uh, they had a method in the, uh, in the game to bypass this. But I understand why it's there for new players. Almost done with the tapping. Good lord, Athena, so it's a lot of a lot of tapping. Alright, so now we're to the start screen. Um, the first thing I'm gonna tell you to do is get rid of the damn bouncing icons because uh, they really annoy me. And there are some benefits um, to one of these, which is the gold. So the free bouncing gold, uh, go ahead and tap on that, and you get 100 free golds for joining an alliance and you'll be presented with just a generic list and uh, if you already know of an alliance with a lot of people like you're joining um, a, a, an alliance that you already have another account with um, then you know by all means uh, you know cancel this and or, or actually you can join this and then leave that leave whatever alliance you join here and then and then join with your buddies but uh, for a brand new account, what I'll do is look for the um, look for the number uh, of highest members in an alliance. And so this one uh, is actually too legit to quit. It's got 73 members. So that's the highest in this list that's available to me right now. So I'm going to pick the one with the highest numbers because uh, that may end up helping us with uh, helps. Uh, other people in the alliance get to help you uh, build up your. Uh, buildings quicker. All right, I just I hate bouncing stuff, so I get get rid of all the bouncing stuff that I can. I just tap on everything, go through. That's fine. Now I'll tap the lower left hand corner to get back to my screen. Okay, so this is basically a uh, what's called the build ten strategy, where you build ten of every resource because there are specific bonuses and benefits to achieving that level and it helps you ramp up very quickly. Now, I'm gonna do a slight variation of that because there is one specific building that, uh, it's called the Gymnos, that provides you an experience bonus. The higher the level the Gymnos, the more experience points your hero accumulates, which allows him to level up faster. So the quickest route, so I wanna establish a Gymnos first before I do anything else because Almost anything you do in the game earns you experience points. So if you do those things when you already have a bonus multiplier in place, it'll help you ramp up your hero quicker. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, let's go outside the walls. We already have a level one farm, thanks to Athena. We're gonna go ahead and make that a level two farm. So we tap on the upgrade and we tap on the purple free, and now that's built. Um, I'm going to save uh, 10 of these spots 
Uh, I like to group all my farms together, all my logging camps together. Um, so I've got eight, nine, ten. So over here, I'm going to start and put a logging camp. Let's go ahead and put a logging camp. Now the reason I'm doing, and I'm going to upgrade that to level two, the reason I'm doing the farm and the logging camp is because everything in all the buildings and upgrades in Game of War have dependencies. You have to have a farm and a logging camp, for example, before you can uh, create a villa of a certain level. So I need that level two uh, farm uh, and, uh, and logging camp. So now let's go into the city and I'm gonna tap on one of the high uh, tiles and I'm going to build my villa. And you can see here, these are the requirements. You see it says you need a logging camp level one and a farm level one. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade, I'm gonna go ahead and click build here. I'm gonna upgrade this villa as high as I can. Let's go ahead and upgrade the villa. to level two. Actually, let's go ahead and do level three. And there is level three. Now, that's where I'm gonna put my Gymnos. And you can build it. And I'm just going to keep upgrading it as much as possible. Let's zoom in a little bit. Just keep upgrading. These are all free because, uh, well, actually, I don't have a VIP. So let's go ahead and click help. That that's uh, once the timer gets down to five minutes. In this case, it'll be I'll be able to instantaneously build it. You can see how it just jumped by more than a minute because my alliance members are helping me. Every time they click their help button, let's go ahead and do that. By the way. Uh, down in the lower right hand corner, uh, the hands, uh, you can see this help all button. Uh, every time uh, one of your alliance members hits that help all button, it decreases your timer by one minute, so that helps you um, level up much faster. Uh, but anyway, I did notice that my VIP status, look in the top left hand corner next to the picture, there is a VIP one. Uh, my VIP status is not active and I would like it to be. So let's tap items on the bottom of the screen. And um, I have, let's just use all of these things that are in uh, treasures. Okay. And let's tap on the special uh, sub menu. So you got my items is the top tab and then below is the special resources speed up some war treasures. Tap on the left one special um, and this gives an activation for 30 minutes of VIP so let's go ahead and activate that. And we don't have any points yet um, but we'll get some. So there it is! There's our one, I just tapped on the bouncing treasure. Again, I hate bouncing stuff. So anytime you see that bouncing treasure, um, go ahead and tap on that. So the game's gonna give you this 100 VIP points. Uh, so go ahead and collect that and go back into items. Tap items on the bottom. Uh, special now should have, yes, 100 uh, VIP points at the top. So go ahead and tap use and tap the lower left hand corner. You can see we are now, uh, look up at the left hand corner, we are now VIP level two. If you tap on VIP level two and tap on VIP level two again, you will uh, see that our instant construction speed up is now seven minutes. All right, let's get back to it. Uh, let's upgrade that Gymnos one more time. And I'm gonna hit help. Uh, you could have a speed up here if I tap on the speed up button next to the timer. Uh, you can see here it tells me free. It's free in five minutes. Now I could sit here and wait. You can see it now it's four minutes because pe people in my alliance are helping me. Um, I can go three minutes. I actually have a three minute speed up right down here. I'm just going to use that because I'm very impatient. And now it's free. And boom, my uh, Gymnos is now a level four. 
So if I tap on the level 4 just to tell you what I was talking about, I now have a, if you see that hero XP bonus, I now have a 20% bonus. So everything I do from this point forward, I will earn 20% more experience points than I would have if I hadn't done this Gymnos first. Okay, so back out to the main screen. Let's get busy with the build 10 strategy. We're gonna go back outside the walls and we're gonna start filling in these empty uh, spaces with farms. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Now we don't upgrade any of these farms, we just build them. That's all that we're... We just keep tapping farm and build and free. Tile, farm, build, free. Okay, and we just keep doing this until we have a total of five farms. Don't worry about the messages that are popping up telling you you have achieved various awards and experience. Uh, we'll go in and collect all those things later. We've got just a couple more. Here's the last one. Farm. Build. Okay, you'll see I get the food for the kingdom now. If you tap on uh, quests at the bottom, and then you'll get this screen and Empire Quests is at the top. You can see I have completed all kinds of quests and I could just continue to collect all these uh, rewards. Um, so let's go ahead and on building cap. You can see here I actually get 2,525 experience points. I'll get a bonus for that because of the, uh, um, because of the Gymnos that I created. Okay, uh, we're just gonna go straight into another 10 tiles though, logging camps. We already did one logging camp down here, so let's just go ahead and continue. Logging camp. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here and uh, come back to you when I've got the 10 logging camps. Okay, so now I have my 10 logging camps, and here's where it gets a little interesting. You can see there's a total of 25 tiles outside the walls, and I only have five tiles left, so I have four different types of camps that I can build, so I can't build 10 of each camp without destroying some. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the outside edge, and we'll start building our third one, which is a quarry. Go ahead and build it, tap free, and we're gonna start building towards our wall of logging camps. Let's just keep building the quarry. Fill up all the empty tiles. Okay, so now I'm stuck, what do I do? I need to build 10 quarries, we tear down, you can see deconstruct button up at the top. We tear down a logging camp and you just tap use to use that hammer. And yes. Now it warns you that you're about to lose five power. Uh, don't be worried about that. It's entirely worth it to use this strategy because of the benefits and the rewards that come from completing the quests uh, that are associated with this uh, strategy. So as soon as I get an empty tile, I'll go ahead and put a quarry in it. Deconstruct. Just keep hitting the free button. All right, you can see I am done building my 10 quarries and I got another bouncing chest uh, over on the left-hand side. I'm gonna just pick that up to get rid of that. All right, so now we're really stuck. We've got no spaces. Uh, I'm gonna start destroying all of the quarries. 
and building mines in their place until we have, you guessed it, 10, whoops, I hit the wrong button, deconstruct, until we have 10 mines. Back in a GIF. All right, now we've got the 10 mines and another bouncing chest. Tap on the bouncing chest in the lower left-hand corner. Collect another material chest. We'll get around to using that stuff later. Now, now that I'm done, I've done my build 10 of every strategy and gotten all the benefits. I've got all the quests completed for those things. And so now it's how do you, how do you leave it? Um, there's all kinds of different strategies. It really depends on what you're going to want to do. The base uh, recommendation is probably keep the 10 farms and then do five each of the remaining types. Uh, that'll give you a good balance. You need more farms than you need anything else because uh, food is what your army eats. The bigger your army gets, the more food you're going to require. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I already have, I've got the 10 farms and I've got the five logging camps if you uh, if you followed the order in which I did this. And so um, what I'm gonna do is just replace five of the mines with quarries, and then I'll have my equal balance. Okay, so now I've got uh, five mines, five quarries, five logging camps and 10 farms. So we're gonna turn our attention to inside the walls, but first let's go ahead and create, uh, we'll go ahead and collect all the rewards. So tap on quests down in the bottom menu bar. It's got the green check mark on it. Go ahead and tap on that. And tap on empire quests with the green check mark, green check mark indicating that things are done. So these are all the completed quests are the ones with the green collect buttons and so um, uh, we're just gonna start collecting them. Uh, we're gonna skip over this. So what happens is as you get rewards uh, they include experience and uh, when you build up a certain amount of experience points it levels up your hero. In this case this is our, uh, our chick hero. And, um, and she just leveled up. And so you see in the bottom right hand corner of that window, there are two skill points that are available to be allocated. We're gonna cover that in the next video. So for right now, just skip over this, tap okay. Uh, back on the, we're just gonna keep tapping the green collect buttons and collecting our rewards. You can see the little window that's popping up at the bottom, uh, telling us how many hero experience points, how much power we're increasing, and it's also giving us prizes in terms of resources, silver, stone. Uh, here we, we got so many uh, experience points there, we leveled up again. Just tap OK. Collect, just keep on collecting. Now you can also, you can come in here from time to time. I didn't take any break during the building of my uh, resource tiles. Uh, these, these were all um, missions or, or, or quests that were being completed while I was doing all that work. So I could have taken a break and come back in here and collected and then gone back out and built some more. Um, okay, so this might go on for a little bit, so I'm going to take a little break. Be right back when I'm done collecting all these. So I finished hitting the green uh, collect buttons and getting all my rewards. So now there are no more on the Empire Quests screen. You'll see on the top of the screen it gives you a recommended quest uh, to go ahead and build an academy. So let's go ahead and tip the strong or tap the stronghold button in the lower left-hand corner, and it'll take us back out to our view. Uh, let me get this bouncing chest again. Okay, so let's see where we are. Look at the top of the screen and uh, you'll see that we're up to 28,000 power uh, with just that exterior uh, work we did. Um, what we're going to do is go ahead and build 
uh, some structures on the interior. Now we've got a few already, right? There's um, a watchtower, there is a storehouse, and there is a hospital right down there underneath the waterfalls. And uh, of course, uh, we built the Gymnos um, at the beginning to get that experience bonus. So if you tap on any one of these tiles, uh, let's go ahead and I like right here for the academy. So this gives you the list of all the things that you can build um, in here. If you can't build them yet, if you haven't met the requirements, obviously that's indicated in red. Now there's one thing to understand, all these things down at the bottom that can't be built yet, those are buildings that you uh, can only build one of. Uh, you can only build one academy, one forge, and all the rest. There are three types of buildings which you can build multiple, just like the resource tiles outside the walls. Those are barracks, villas, and hospitals. And the build 10 strategy works just as well with those three types on the inside as the resource tiles did on the outside. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and build our academy first, might as well. We'll build free. Okay, now Athena shows up and says, uh, I want to show you how to uh, research something in the academy. And she's going to show you how to research scouting. And again, it's you're locked into it. You can't choose something else. You're stuck in there. You just have to do what Athena says, which is fine. So I'll go ahead and ask for help on the research, and then we'll uh, start doing uh, what it is that, that we want to do here. All right, so we're going to build a barracks. Now I'm going to end up having one barracks, uh, and this is the center tile. This is where I like to have my barracks. You can put them anywhere uh, you want, but obviously grouping them um, in a way that's just intuitive to you is good. Athena's going to show up again when you... Uh, uh, build your barracks for the first time and she's going to show you how to train swordsmen so you go ahead and do that and now we've got 20 swordsmen in the queue good luck my king okay so as i said the build 10 strategy works we've already built one barracks we are going to build nine more so let's go ahead and build barracks I'm just going to start filling in the tiles down around the left. Be back in a second. Got my 10 barracks all complete. Get rid of this bouncing chest. And now I'm going to jump all the way over. Oops, I accidentally tapped on the storehouse. Uh, I'm going to jump all the way over to the other side of the map, which is where I like to put my villas. And I'm gonna start building villas. You'll remember we already have one uh, that we built uh, a while ago. So go ahead and fill in 10 villas over there on that right hand side. I've got my 10 villas built now. And uh, I got the reward for that. Now we're going to hit, go ahead and turn our attention to hospitals. We have uh, this one hospital that uh, Athena built for us a long time ago. And um, we're going to go ahead and start destroying the barracks and building hospitals in their places uh, until we have a total of 10. I've got my 10 hospitals completed, so now we have completed the build 10 strategy for the three types of, uh, of buildings within um, the walls that you can have. We just keep on leveling up, I'm going to just keep tapping OK uh, and handle skill points in the next video. So uh, now we'll go ahead and build... Uh, some of the other buildings. Uh, oh, actually, so let's go ahead and jump into the quests uh, tab. And let's see here. Tap Empire Quests, and let's go ahead and collect 
uh, all these rewards and we'll see where we end up. I collected all my rewards and you can see now at the top of the screen we are up to 49,000 power. Not bad uh, of a start. Now the recommended next quest is to build a forge and uh, we haven't done that yet so let's go ahead and do that. I tend to like to have my forges uh, right here. Literally does not matter at all, so it's up to you what you want to do with that. We'll just go ahead and build that until that's free. And we'll go ahead and collect the reward. Back out to the main screen. Get rid of our bouncing chest. Okay, so uh, now we're going to um, we're going to go ahead and get our our mix uh, that that I think is good to start out with. Uh, you probably well, you definitely don't need all these hospitals, um, but you uh, probably need about four barracks is good to start out with. Um, the more barracks you have, the more uh, soldiers and troops you can train at one time. So we'll go ahead and rebuild a few barracks. And again, you can put these anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. You just, for convenience sake, want to make sure that uh, they're grouped together. Okay, and we're also going to want um, also going to want about a total of 15. Now we've already got 10. Um, let's uh, let's go ahead and put <clears throat> some more villas. Now this is. Again, this is kind of personal preference. Some people think this is a waste of uh, resources. I'm going to put up villas that I intend to tear down at some point. Uh, but villas have a unique benefit. They allow, or, or they give you a uh, bonus on the speed with which your troops train. So um, having more villas reduces the time that it takes to train your troops. And so just a note on the other, other different types of, um, of buildings. Let's take a look here. Uh, you can see, you know, in addition to, you know, we're done with barracks, we're gonna do four of those, we're gonna do lots of villas. At some point when we have a big army, we're gonna need a lot of hospitals to be able to uh, uh, heal those troops and save them uh, from death if we get attacked. The others uh, are more advanced. You're gonna need them at higher levels of the game, but in, in my opinion, there's no reason to leave an empty tile that could be producing you silver, uh, which is what the villas produce, or training you more troops, which is what having more barracks when you get to that level and you and you need those uh, different types of buildings, you can go ahead and deconstruct. Uh, in the meantime, there will be plenty of resources for uh, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and fill this out, and I'll be right back. So where we end up is with uh, four barracks, fifteen villas. One hospital, uh, one storehouse, one gymnos, and one academy. 
Now the academy, we've got a bunch of free upgrades we can go to. You see the, the arrows uh, next to the number indicates that it's you're able to upgrade that. You have all the requirements. Uh, go ahead and tap the upgrade button. Upgrade, free. Okay, so now we've got a uh, level two and we get another quest for, quest reward for doing that. All right, so we're at 49,000 power. Um, really, next we're gonna turn our attention to leveling up our stronghold. Uh, that'll determine your expansion uh, capabilities um, in a lot of different areas going forward. But in order to do that, so here's one of the other things you can do. You see there's no arrow next to the number two. If you tap on it, uh, you can still tap the upgrade button and it will tell you what you don't have. Um, after you do this a while, you get to understand. You'll, you'll know what the dependencies are and you'll know what order you have to do things in. But uh, for these lower levels, all you need to upgrade the stronghold is uh, walls. So let's go ahead and take a look at our walls. And sure enough, our up arrow is next to the walls. So we tap on the walls and we tap the upgrade button. This will be another free upgrade. And we can uh, upgrade it again, so we might as well, because it's a free upgrade. Accidentally got into the speed up window there. Okay, so now we have uh, level three walls. Let's go ahead and update our, or upgrade our stronghold. Now this one says it's gonna take uh, 20 minutes. Now I've asked for help. This is one of the benefits of joining that alliance. Um, they'll reduce my time a little bit, but you can see here it says our free speed up in about 10 minutes, I'm looking at the free speed up in the purple there. Free speed up in 10 minutes, and we have four 10 minute speed ups at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one. And now I'm instantaneously free. And I get a bunch of uh, big reward screens for upgrading the stronghold and more skill points. I'll go ahead and tap OK. All right. Now you can see, um, it doesn't usually happen this way, but up until Stronghold level five, things operate a little differently. So uh, right here, we're actually able to upgrade the Stronghold again because I, I had upgraded the walls twice. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the Stronghold again. That's, that will help us. Uh, again, now we've got an even longer period of time, but I'm gonna go ahead and use some speed ups. We've got free speed up in about 30 minutes. People keep helping me, which is reducing the timer. Um, I have two, I have a whole bunch of 15 minute. So let's go ahead and use one of those. I mean, instead of using another one, let me see really quick before we. Uh... Another 13 minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a 15 minute. Yeah, I I could sit here and wait for some more people to help me in the Alliance to tick that down. Uh, but just for the purposes of doing this video, we'll go ahead and get that done. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and upgrade. Let's see if this is, yeah, this is free. The Academy upgrade is free. So let's go ahead and uh, upgrade that. Um, the four probably will not be free. Okay, so it's really at this point that following Athena's recommended quests uh, is, ends up not being a really bad way to go, and this video is getting uh, kind of long, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. It tells us the next thing to do, uh, the next recommended quest is upgrade Cory to level 2. I'm looking at that right on the, on the bottom uh, of the city. You see there's a bar down there that says, uh, you know, upgrade Cory to level 2, so... I'm gonna go out and tap on one of my quarries and upgrade. Now, a lot of these, it's, all this stuff's gonna to continue to be free um, at the lower levels. And uh, next recommended is upgrade mine to two, so I'll tap on a mine and upgrade. Now, if you want, um, we're gonna do 
some other stuff in the next video, so check out the, uh, the other videos on the YouTube channel. If you're interested in uh, learning more about what I've been talking about here, uh, this is basically a video version, um, kind of actually another version, it's slightly different than an article written at appheroics.com, uh, written by Galvadar, my, my partner in war. So uh, you can go check that out, appheroics.com, and follow us uh, on Twitter at appheroics, and uh, I'm always putting out funny tweets about uh, what's frustrating uh, me in the game at the moment, or um, what I'm really enjoying at the moment. So um, go ahead and check those things out, and we'll see you in the next video.